welcome back to a new video. Ladies and gentlemen, I don't have to tell you, for the last 30, 40, however long chapters, Black Clover has been very, very hard to predict. Yuki Tabara has just become an absolute mad lad. The dude is losing it. But guys, don't worry. Today, we're going to talk about every single possibility on what is going to happen in Black Clover Chapter 294. I believe I do have a very solid theory in this video. But before we jump into that, guys, as always, don't forget to hit the like button if you want to support these videos. We are doing a giveaway in this video for Black Clover Volume 28 at 500 likes. So be sure to hit that like button and join Discord for more information on this epic giveaway. With that also being said, guys, we have a new intro in this video. This intro was done by Dakuro over on Twitter. Definitely go check him out on Twitter. Uh, he does these sort of things and I'm very grateful for this intro he made and it honestly looks really cool. So let's roll it. Jumping straight into it. I really hope you guys like the intro. I'll probably only use it one or two times I don't know. I kind of do like the intros I have and I do have another intro coming very soon Anyway jumping straight into the predictions. I think it's pretty obvious where next chapter is going to start I believe next chapter is going to start actually Paralleling the moments Magna had with Asta and luck now. What am I talking about? Well, if you remember during the tournament arc Asta fell after defeating Langurs. Who caught him? Magna. Yes, sir. Your boy Magna catches Asta as he is falling on the ground. Then in the elf arc, after Asta defeats Luck with the help of Magna and Vanessa, Luck is crying. Who's there to support and comfort Luck? Yes, sir. It's your boy Magna. Magna parallels these two, catching them both, being that shoulder to cry on, being that support they both needed in that moment. And boy, oh boy, now is the time to return the favor. Magna looks fucked up. Dude looks like he's about to pass out and die on the spot. Asta and Luck arrived at the nick of time last chapter, and I believe this is the moment Yuki Tabara has been waiting for. I believe Magna is gonna fall. Asta and Luck are gonna catch him. It's gonna be such a cool moment, paralleling the moments Magna caught Luck and the moments Magna caught Asta, and I think it's gonna be a very, very wholesome moment, which sadly, I don't believe is going to last very long because someone is about to do something. But before we jump into that, guys, don't forget the next official chapter of the Black Clover manga is this week's Sunday. Guys, every Sunday we do a live stream, so be sure to be there on the live streams. They are super fun. Also, if you're enjoying this video so far, be sure to hit the like button. But let's jump into the shadowy figure, or should I say, Noct Faust. During the captain's meeting, Noct said a few words that have stuck with me for a quite while. Noct said, these are power guns of that breed. What are they thinking? I don't care. I don't even want to understand it. Unjust evil. They're the type I hate the most. Even if God and the devils forgive them, I never will. Noct is out for blood. He hates unjust evil because of what he blames himself that caused Morgan's death. So next chapter, this upcoming chapter, with Dante knocked the fuck out on the floor. <sighs> Guys, I believe knocked is going to try end it right here. And why wouldn't he? Dante is the evil boss of the Dark Triad. Killing Dante is probably the best thing to do right here. Hell, Yami and Asta should have killed him when they defeated him last time. They hesitated, they didn't, they went to restrain him, and how did that end? Hmm, I wonder. Oh yeah, Xenon attacked and rescued Dante, and Dante came back stronger than ever. I think Noct is going to attempt to assassinate Dante this chapter, and I believe this is where Asta 
will stop him. I mean, let's be honest. As correct as Noct is, uh, this is kind of the superhero 101 trait where everyone else is like, kill that guy, kill that guy. He's obviously evil. Kill that guy. Let's not give him a second chance to get back up. But the main character is always there, you know, because that light in the darkness. And Asta is knocked light. He even sees Morgan in Asta. If this was reversed, Morgan would stop Noct from killing Dante. And I think this is going to exactly play out as I believe. I think Noct is going to try kill Dante. Asta is going to stop him. And then Noct is going to see Morgan in, da in, in Asta. And I think Noct is going to stop. But this is where two things could happen. The first possible thing that could happen is I actually went back to Black Clover Chapter 100 when Asta first unlocked his Asta Black form. Libe told Asta this. Quit complaining and let me take over your mind. All you have to do is pass out. Now, what just happened last chapter? Dante passed out. And I did this theory uh, a couple days ago that Lucifero awakens Magna's death. Uh, but now that I found this panel with Libe telling us that to pass out, uh, this is a very big possibility that next chapter, especially now that Dante has absolutely no mana in his body, Lucifero might be able to partially take over Dante's body. Uh, this would obviously cause knocked Asta Libe uh, to talk with Lucifero, uh, maybe even get some reasons why the devils are doing this. But I think that's that might be a really big reach, though it is a possibility, especially that I mentioned that I found this panel about Libe telling us that all he has to do is pass out. Now, before we jump into your guys' prediction, as always, guys, remember, I ask your guys' predictions for the next chapter, so be sure to join Discord for next week. Uh, I do want to mention one thing. Obviously, if we don't get uh, the second half of what I just said, it's pretty obvious that the next three chapters are going to focus on either Xenon or Vonica, and then obviously the next three chapters after that, focusing on the Xenon or Vonica, whichever one wasn't focused on all leading up to chapter 300. In six chapters, it's going to be chapter 299. And finally, chapter 300. I believe, personally, the next gate is going to open in chapter 300. Uh, I believe the Xenon and Vonica fight are happening at the same time. I believe Morris has probably already witnessed uh, Dante's defeat, so he's already fucking up the ritual. I don't even think Dante... Uh, Xenon and Vodka are even needed anymore for the ritual. Morris is a complete wild card in this arc. And I'm honestly super excited to see uh, what else Morris is going to do. Uh, a lot of people have been hyping up the Morris and Gaja fight. I feel like that's going to be super cool. Obviously, Gaja is racing straight to Morris to save Lola Pachika. Uh, and there are a lot of Gaja death flags. I'm not entirely too sure if he is going to die this arc, but if he is going to die this arc, then he is most likely going to die attempting to save Lola Pachika. And I feel like that's going to be something really uh, heartwarming, something really heart melting. And it's going to be a very sad moment in the story. Now, guys, remember every week I ask you guys' prediction. This week I picked five different predictions from five different people. Uh, be sure to hit the like button, subscribe, join Discord to be in next week's uh, video. So jumping straight into the first one, Libe Devil Pack says, After Magna defeats Dante, Asta Luck go with Magna. Then the chapter shifts to Yuno and Languorous versus Xenon, and we will get either Finral or another member join in the battle, or we will get a shift to Vonica's room with Charlotte in real versus Vonica, and we will see Noelle enter and use her ultimate magic. The chapter ends with Xenon or Vonica struggling. Obviously, as I mentioned before, we're either going to get Xenon or Vonica, and then we're going to switch over in the next three chapters. Rakeem versus the world says, after Dante's defeat, Asta Luck and Noct will go with Magna. Again, the same thing I said and the same thing Libe says. The chapter then forwards to Yuno and Languorous' battle with Xenon. Fineral in Grey will appear in Xenon's room. I have been predicting Fineral appearing. I'm not quite too sure about Grey. Or we see the Vonica fight where it looks like Vonica has the upper hand until Noelle Gordon pulls up. Chapter ends with Mars or Gaja approaching Morris. Ooh. Art Polsky, shout outs to Polsky for joining in my prediction. Asta and Luck help out Magna. Dante gets possessed by Lucifero. And they exchange ideals with Libe Asta. We get a Dante 
backstory right after the dante dark triad backstory i've been waiting for a very long time yesterday i made a video on what their possible backstory is going to be so be sure to go check out that video if you're interested kill west predicts austin unlock catches magna i love how other people have the same prediction as me we swap back to the fight between Xenon, Orvonica, or Morris, and we might get to see the battle between the uh, Devils and the Magic Knights, but this chapter will be one for the fights and the abilities of everyone, and a new person, Average Magna Hater, okay, Average Magna Hater, makes their appearance saying, starts with Asta, Magna, and Noct, surprised and congratulating Magna, Lux says he can't wait to fight Magna soon, cuts to Xenon worrying about the magic fluctuations, Lucifero voice is then heard talking about Dante being useless, that's a little bit of a reach, chapter ends with taking over Dante, punching a hole through Magna, hopefully resulting in death, that's a little bit of an extreme fury, for something like this but nonetheless a pretty cool fury if you enjoyed this video guys don't forget to hit that like button as it obviously supports this channel what do you think is going to happen in the next black clover chapter tell me your thoughts down below i'll see you in the next video peace